in Paris that was covered with vines lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house in two straight lines at half past nine. The smallest one was Madeline. Oh, merci, Madeline. Come along, ma petite. The young girl's spirits were very high the day they left Paris to visit Versailles, a magnificent palace from days gone by. Attendez, mes enfants, and listen to this. The girls were excited, but they listened well to the wise words of Miss Clavel. The Palace of Versailles has many treasures. There are 6,000 paintings, 1,000 drawings, and 15,000 engravings. There are 2,153 windows in 700 rooms. And listen, there are 50 fountains in oh. every shape and size imaginable. Chocolate, get your chocolate here. Till someone coming down the aisle looks so odd, he had them smile. <laughs> the strange fellow who had caught their eyes was really Pepito in disguise. Wouldn't you like some chocolate, mademoiselle? Madeline? Remember the rule. You may eat chocolate only after you have finished your meal. Madeline wanted something sweet, but she'd have to wait to get her treat. No, thank you, monsieur. <gasps> Pepito! What are you doing here? Come here. My father is going to a meeting at Versailles, so he brought me along, and he bought me all this chocolate. Here, have some. I cannot. It is against the rule. I have only one rule. I can eat whatever I like, whenever I like. As long as my father does not see me. <laughs> Attendez, mes enfants. Pay attention, girls. We have arrived. In two straight lines, hand in hand, they approached a palace tall and grand. Ooh. It is truly magnifique. Miss Clavel, I would like to introduce you to the members of my Committee on World Affairs. Do you think that the children will be all right? Ah, uh, see, it will not take long. Mes petites, while I am gone, you will remember the rules. Oui, Miss Clavel. Si, Miss Clavel. And you will behave like good little girls? Oui, Miss Clavel. And boy? 
See, Miss Clavel. So Miss Clavel left the children alone. Would they follow the rules all on their own? Do not worry about a thing, Miss Clavel. <laughs> Listen, mes amis. Versailles was built for King Louis XIV in 1624. Oh, boring. Oh, Queen Marie Antoinette lived here. Who cares? And it says here that King Louis XV, who also lived here, was very fond of chocolate. Like me. And I will have some right now. Mm. like a bite of chocolate. No, Pepito. It is against Miss Clavel's rule. <laughs> I am the king. You must obey me if you want me to share my chocolate. I command you to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I command you to sit down. <laughs> I command you as your king, the king of chocolates. Long live the king! Long live the king of chocolate, my deity. Always gone, always fearless, his loyalty. Long live the king of chocolate, heed his command. What a leader! about the sign. I am the king. I make my own rules. Come, mes enfants. Time for lunch. We oui, miss Clavel. Are you coming with us, Pepito? No, thanks. I want to see my palace. After all, I am the king. While the girls had their picnic with Miss Clavel, Pepito wandered away for a spell. He found himself in a very grand hall, munching on chocolate as he looked at it all. My palace looks very fine today. Ooh, my harpsichord. Pepito wandered, chocolate in hand, then stopped at an instrument that was gilded and grand. That is the most beautiful harpsichord I have ever seen. What is this? Do not touch. Pooh, I am the king. I make my own rules. Pepito played without much success. 
Oh no! <gasps> then found he had made a terrible mess. So he ran away in great distress. Quel horreur! Something terrible has just happened! When Robert, the security guard, saw the mess, he took it hard. This is tragic! I will find the person who did this evil dude. Uh, I mean, who did this evil deed. <laughs> the girls had a healthy lunch to eat. Greetings, royal subjects. Then they were ready for something sweet. Chocolate, anyone? Very well. I command you to eat chocolate. You girls enjoy your treats and I will empty the trash. Eat neatly, mes petites. The girls adored each chocolate bite. But Pepito was not acting right. As king, I will close all the schools and I will ban broccoli from my kingdom. Come down from there, Pepito. The sign says, stand clear of the fountain. The king does not have to obey signs. When the water began to spray, it washed the chocolate stains away. <laughs> Perhaps a smelt king should obey the signs, Pepito. <laughs> you are no fun. I am going back to my castle. <laughs> this is an outrage! Drop off the area! Close the room to the public! Send for the antique restoration team! I will find the nominal cow! I mean, I will find the criminal now! What shall we see first, mes enfants? The Petit Trianon! The Hall of Mirrors! The Orangerie! The Hall of Mirrors! Orangerie! Petit Trianon! Girls, quiet, s'il vous plaît! <gasps> the guards arrived to solve the case by searching for a chocolate trace. Have any of you been eating chocolate? Oui, monsieur. Then show me your hands, if you please. He checked their hands. When he was done, he thought he found the guilty one. Aha! Oh, no. Nicole! Sneeze this culprit! I mean, seize the culprit! Oh no, oh, this is oh, terrible! Oh, 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 this way, please! Inside, the guard showed everyone where the chocolate crime was done. <gasps> Quelle horreur! But I did not do it. I have never been in this room before. The evidence is on your hands, mademoiselle. What would Louis XIV say? Hello. What would Louis the Fifteenth say? Off with her head! What would Marie Antoinette say? Do not let her eat cake! Now, thousands of visitors will be denied the chance to see this priceless harpsichord. But, sir, Nicole does not lie. She must pray for her rhyme! <laughs> I mean, pay for her crime! Follow me! Mm. Hmm. <gasps> pay for her crime? <coughs> Mes amis, Nicole did not do it. We must find the real chocolate culprit. We follow me! What is this? Ah, now I think I know who the guilty one is. The 
girl searched low. The girl searched high. The girl searched all around Versailles. Till Madeline found someone who might know about the chocolate goo. Pepito, I've been looking all over for you. Did you get chocolate on the harpsichord keys? Who, me? Let me see your hands. See? No chocolate here. Hmm. Then I will have to find the chocolate vandal somewhere else. Here. <gasps> Gracias. The girl spent quite a bit of time searching for the one who committed the crime. Oh, look! Chocolate on the hands! Oh! Only gloves. Attendez! Someone eating candy! <sighs> Only peppermints. My mind is made up! <gasps> Must be another way. My mind is made up. No children will be allowed to visit the Palace of Versailles ever again. <gasps> Madeline was upset to learn then that no children could visit Versailles again. This is not good. Just because Nicole's hands were dirty does not mean she touched the harpsichord. But then, just because Pepito's hands were not dirty, does not mean he did not touch the harpsichord. Miss Clavel, Pepito probably did it. After all, he was in the chateau while we were outside. We, oui, but there is no way to prove it. Just leave it to me, Miss Clavel. Pepito! Sure of the culprit, she looked high and low calling his name as she searched the chateau. Pepito! <gasps> Pepito! I need to talk to you! Pepito! Stop! Pepito? Are you here, Pepito? Up and down, throughout the place, Madeline gave Pepito Chase. Pepito, stop! Because of what you did, no children will ever get to come here again. Oh, no! <sighs> what really happened, Pepito? Madeline, I made a mistake. I did not follow the rules. I did not obey the sign. But I did not know it would hurt other people. I am sorry. I will tell the guard. If... If what? If you will go with me. Pepito hoped he could clear up the mess. But it wasn't easy to confess. Uh, Monsieur Gobert, my friend Pepito would like to see you. See me? I can't meet everyone who comes along. Don't you know I'm a busy man? I mean... A busy man? Oui, monsieur, but... I think you will be glad to meet him. Come in now, Pepito. I am the guilty one, senor. I am sorry I touched the harpsichord. I did not mean to hurt anything, but I was wrong to disobey the rules. I can understand why you do not want me to return to Versailles, but please do not take it out on the other children. Oh, please, Monsieur Gobert. But the damage has been done. It is so expensive to repair. There is no way to make up for your misdeed. I have some money. Will it help? Hmm? <coughs> A little bit. <coughs> I will allow children to come to Versailles, but I think you will have to do something more. Pepito admitted to his chocolate crime, and then he had to put in time cleaning the mirrors of dirt and grime. Thank you for confessing, Pepito. After all, 
A good king sets a good example for his subjects. See, I am a good king. And a tidy one. Oui, but you missed a spot. But you have done a good job. You may go home now, Pepito. Gracias. I hope you will come back again, monsieur. Without your chocolate? Hmm. Buenas tardes, Pepito. What did you learn at Versailles today? I learned that the mirrors are very clean, Papa. Well, come on, then. We do not want to miss the train. Stop, Papa. The sign says keep off the grass. You do not want to disobey the rules, do you? Claro, you are right, my son. And so Madeline and friends said goodbye to the palace of Versailles. Soon they were back home again, thinking still of where they'd been. As the girls crawled between the sheets, they reached the hidden chocolate treats. Good night, little girls. I hope that today you have learned how important it is to obey the rules. All the rules. We just love them. The girls put their chocolate bars away to save them for another day. Sweet dreams, mes petites. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel gently closed the door, and that's all there is. There isn't any more. Deep.